Microsoft unveiled its new Windows holographic platform at Computex 2016. What exactly does this platform mean to hardware partners, Russell? So Microsoft had been working on a software platform for HoloLens, and they've been very vocal about that and the way that developers can kind of work with HoloLens to, to build applications. But HoloLens is, is an admittedly small audience, and so in order to kind of grow that, they're working with hardware partners that are doing virtual reality in other formats, not necessarily that kind of augmented reality, but, you know, so either mixed reality or, or you know, just straight up virtual reality uh, so that there is a single software platform that developers can write apps for that work for all of these different kinds of uh, hardware. And um, are we going to be seeing, a, I mean, HTC Vive, I know when you watch this video, which this video is kind of nuts, right? It's, it's kind of like Microsoft's vision into the future of the Windows holographic platform. But I mean, you see someone using a Vive, is this I, so? I imagine that means that this is meant to work with literally everything: HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, all of the platforms. It seems you know if it's something that works with the HTC Vive, there's there's not a whole lot of barrier there for it to not work with the mm -hmm. Oculus Rift, unless Oculus decides that they're not interested in partnering with Microsoft, which isn't the case because they already partner with Microsoft for other things. Right. Uh, so it seems unlikely that there are going to be any uh, any barriers really for any of the. Uh, the higher end virtual reality platforms. I'm not totally sure how it's going to work on something like the Gear VR, uh, just because there there may be some additional uh, hardware or or maybe just connectivity issues because uh, you're dealing with a, a mobile device instead of something that's you know tethered to wired internet or something like mm -hmm. that. Uh, so there there may be some hurdles there. But for Oculus Rift and HTC Vive, there should be no reason for those to not work exactly the same way. Cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, man, they have a large list of partners: Acer, AMD, ASUS. Dell, Falcon, HP. I mean, it's actually, the list is too long to, to list them off. But um, do you think this is a really big deal for kind of the efforts, you know, the efforts of, I mean, what you're obviously very passionate about, VR and AR and kind of uniting the platforms? Do you think Microsoft's going to be successful with it? I certainly hope so. I think that this is, you know, we, we've seen a lot of this kind of cross-platform stuff already from Unity and Unreal Engine. Uh, to, to do this for gaming, uh, but it's not as easy to do that for the kind of standard applications. And that's what we're seeing here is making it so that, uh, you know, businesses can take this and kind of tie it into to their existing, uh, you know, app designs for really anything. And so being able to, to push that uh, could be a really big deal.